some wild times that we are living in right now. It seems like we are just moving from one crisis to the next. First COVID and now a potential world war between Ukraine and Russia. And we watch this news or follow these events on social media, and they can certainly make us feel very helpless. But are we really? Let's look at the Bible. We have David, who is in a very similar situation when he was being chased by Saul. Saul and his goons were trying to hunt David down, wanting to kill him. So David felt the same way we likely do whenever we're watching these things happen today. Let's see, though, how things unfolded with David when he was going through some similar stressful times. Psalms chapter 18, and we start with verse 18. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a broad place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. So the takeaway there is that God delighted in David. He saved David. He rescued him. He took David to a safe place away from danger because God loved David. But why did God love David? Well, let's read on. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his ordinances were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless with him, and I kept myself from iniquity. Therefore the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyes. So some cause and effect at work there. God saves David, but why did God do that? Well, we read that David was obedient. The text there tells us that David followed God's commandments and did not deviate from them. So David did all this back in 1000 BC, like over 3000 years ago. How do we do the same thing here in 2022? Well, Paul tells us this in the New Testament. We go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9, and the text says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, end quote, and you will be saved. What sweet, sweet words those are. So for us, right now, to get the same protection David did back then, we must declare Christ as king, and not through just words, through actions. That means living a life that is pleasing to Christ and setting aside our own sinful ways. We can't have our cake and eat it too. And if that's a problem, if you struggle with sin, like we all do, Well, pray and ask for help with your sins. Confess them and repent of them, because God is always listening. He's always with us. As James chapter 4, verse 8 says, draw near to him, and he will draw near to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care, and God bless.